Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to the Collector's Corner. My name is Dylan Scott Gilligan. Before we get into this amazing box, I'm so excited. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you know every time I add a new addition to the Collector's Corner. Now, just a little backstory. I was a huge women's wrestling fan as a child. I still am today, but I remember having my WWE Diva figures. That's what they were called back in the day, Divas. Now they're just superstars, just like the guys. But I remember having those figures and having the most fun with them. I do love the new Mattel figures. I have... Um, Lana, Alexa Bliss, Charlotte, and Sasha up here on my uh, on one of the shelves up here in the collector's corner. But I really love the Jack Pacific figurines. Uh, specifically, I'll show you the exact model I'm talking about because they had some uh, models previous to the ones I like that were just a little bit more stiff. But we got some amazing finds in here. So. I knew that one day I wanted to spend the money and get a lot of these figurines I had as a kid. I might want to do some stop motion wrestling shows. That'd be so much fun. But I found 15, 15 WWE women figurines all from when I was younger. Jack Pacific. I think they're all Jack Pacific for about $100 including shipping. So thank you so much to the seller um, for, you know, sending this so quickly it's got it got here really quick all right so let's get on into it um i don't think they're in here i think this is just kind of like uh like a little shield okay yes yeah, so they're in a bag oh my gosh y'all i'm so excited i'm probably gonna cry Ooh, and they package them really well so let's see who's first okay so <laughs> oh my gosh i might cry Holy smokes. I have not seen these figurines in so long, everyone. Okay, so this particular wrestler here, her name is the Fabulous Moolah is what she went by. Um, this is the only figure that I wasn't like, you know, like, oh my gosh about. Just because the um, woman that this rest, this figure is based off of kind of has, you know, has come out in, in light that there's been some problematic things that happened with them. But it is still a very cool figure, so I'm not quite sure what role. I used to have this one when I was a kid, too. And the jacket kind of, you know, Velcro's like that. Super cool figurine. So, while we do have this figurine, though, I'll show you. Um, this is my favorite model of Jack's Pacific action figure. So, you have the knee articulation. You have heel articulation as well. Um, they do. Their legs do not go out to the side, but they can kind of do like a... Uh, a, a jump split like a cheerleaders do and then their arms bend like this they can go all the way around and they have their wrist can move their um necks can like move all the way around but sometimes their hair sculpts will stop them from that but that's the basic articulation of my favorite version of the jack specific figures so moolah is really cool it just stinks that you know there's some stuff that went on in the past moolah can you um focus please honey Thank you. It just thinks that there's some stuff that went on in the past, you know. But I just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was important. So I'm going to put her over here. If she will stand, maybe not. Usually they could stand well, but it looks like her leg is a little... Okay, that's good enough. It was a little crooked, but I don't think that's the seller. I think mine actually had the same problem. Okay, so here we go. The next one, it looks like there's a couple. Ooh, and they actually came with skirts. Okay, one of my all-time favorite WWE wrestlers is in this little pack here, it looks like. So, first off, we have Lillian Garcia, an iconic, an iconic um, ring announcer for WWE. Now she was ring announcing a lot when I was a kid and watched the brand. She is absolutely beautiful. I love this figurine and I love the coloring on her hair as well. I didn't know she was going to come with this skirt, but in the original, like, you know, packaging, she did come with the skirt. So that is amazing. I'm so glad to have her. She probably won't be wrestling as much, but she definitely will be the ring announcer on my show if I ever decide to make it. So, love that Lillian Garcia. You know what? Maybe I'll just move this box out of the way. So, there's more room. Oh my gosh, I love her. She has the same articulation as Moolah. 
over there. Okay, awesome. Now, one of my favorite wrestlers ever, Kelly Kelly. By the way, these action figures are, like, amazing in terms of quality. Um, focus on Kelly. She is so cute. And I love this figurine. I did have this exact one. I had a couple Kelly Kelly figures, actually. But I did have this exact one. So she basically just has her silver top and then her black bottoms. And she does have the boots. Lillian has the boots, too. I forgot to show that. But, oh, my gosh. I love this figurine. I can't believe that I, I got all these for the price I did. I'm, like, shell-shocked. Um, I might get stands for them one day, but they're probably just, like, stay in some sort of package. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't believe this is so surreal. Is this real life? All right. So, in this pack, also two figurines I had as a child as well. I don't really know what happened to my wrestlers. But I guess when we moved, they got lost. This is Molina. She was a very pivotal WWE diva in that time. An amazing wrestler. And I love this outfit. She also has another outfit I really love. Um, the Molina figures are always really cool. So it's this really cool pattern. Like this blue. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have her. I love her hair sculpt too. So there we go with Melina. Now with Jax, it was usually hit or miss, honestly. And this is Maurice. Now this looks nothing like Maurice, but this figurine with this outfit and this head sculpt and this hair just has, it has such a sentimental place in my heart. So she does have the black boots like Lillian and Kelly, but she has like little dots there, which is really cool. And this, um, their outfits sometimes were like super random because that outfit is actually from like a bikini contest i believe or something like that so i i don't know maybe it was like one of the bikini matches i'm not sure but we do have another package here Ooh, two um figures that i had as well we'll start off with jillian hall now i don't know why it's not like she was my favorite wrestler or anything but this figurine to me like is absolutely everything can you focus honey focus on jillian i love the um so some of them came with elbow pads but as you can see like unless you push them up or down a bit it is probably going to inhibit the way they move their elbows so like either have it above or right below their elbows but i love her like face and her hair is really cute and her outfit i don't know it's simplistic but i love it but i'm really glad that she was in this lot the lot was absolutely amazing. Almost every one of these women I wanted. And then we have Layla. Now, Layla is such an iconic wrestler, okay? She was in... She won the Diva Surge, first of all. Um, she also was in a tag team later called Lay Cool with Michelle McCool. And they were an awesome heel tag team. I remember that they used to annoy me so much because I was a huge fan of Kelly Kelly and they'd make fun of her and call her Smelly Kelly. But I'm not quite sure if I had this version of Layla. There was two versions of her, I think, like in this look. Now, she is gorgeous. Her face, just like in real life, is so gorgeous. And I love her hair and the sculpt. She has kind of like lacing details on her um, top here. And she has like black gloves painted on, painted on, which I love. And she also came with her skirt. So we have two of these skirts. Multiple... Um, of the diva figures came with these skirts i'm not really sure why but i think it's kind of a cool touch so there we have layla she's so cute oh my gosh the camera just does not want to focus on the right things okay so now next up we have ooh, okay so there is an a action figure in here that i never had before which i'm very excited about because i've always wanted her but first off, we have Lita here. Now, Lita, of course, is a WWE Hall of Famer. She's a legend. She is one of the most well-known women's wrestlers because she was awesome. She was more of like a high flyer type wrestler. And she did come with her shirt and her pants. So the seller is amazing. Um, thank you so much again to the seller for including all these things. But she has this really cool tattoo on her arm. I love her face. It's just, can we focus on her face, please? There we go. Super cute. And her hair, I just, I don't know. There's something about Jack specific figurines that I just can't get over. Like, I love them so much. Okay, and now, going on to a figurine I've never had before, we have Miss Molly Holly here. Now, this is not what I, like, recognize Molly Holly looking as. 
Um, that didn't make sense. I saw her when I was watching wrestling. She had like short, shorter dark brown slash black hair. And she was actually bald at one point and it had to do with the storyline with a match which if she lost she um, got her head shaved and she actually did lose. So I just think she's so cool. I've heard so many great things about Molly Holly in real life about how she's she helps everybody and she's always like looking to give other people opportunities. So she's an amazing person in and outside of the ring. I love this hair sculpt. I think it's so cute. I think this was more of her like mighty molly phase which is where she was blonde and she was kind of like a superhero with the hurricane and he had like a super uh superhero gimmick but beautiful blue top here with some really cool details and then black pants with details as well so this is the older jack's pacific model so you're not going to have as much um versatility when it comes to you know the uh, articulation so you can bend a little bit at the knee but no heel articulation you can move the arms up and down and you can still bend them but the hands do not um have articulation like the wrists but i love this pose too because it reminds me of trish stratus um but yeah i'm so excited to have molly holly if i'm stuttering any time in this video i am so sorry i'm just like so excited she's just gonna go right here i i can't even like begin to describe to you all like this has been something i knew i wanted to start collecting again but to find this lot and to actually win it for such a good price i'm 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 still shocked Ooh, i see one i love actually two i love so both of these figures i did own at one time and that's another thing too when i was a kid if you were a diva fan and you wanted diva figures it was almost impossible impossible to find them in stores um my dad and i would go on like trips to try to find some and we find maybe one or two um you know at the toys R Us or whatever but they were really hard to find so this beth phoenix this is beth phoenix here i think this is her first figurine ever oh my gosh her face is beautiful and i i just love the hair sculpts i don't know what it is about them but Maybe it's just nostalgia. And I love her purple outfit here. So you have the silver detailing like where her abs are. And then she has black boots down here as well. These were pretty common with the diva figures along with those black heel heeled boots. But she is so cool. Beth Phoenix was, um, she was dominating at one point in WWE. She's very strong, amazing heel work and face work as well. But I saw her, um, I think I only found one of her in the Toys R Us and I had the choice to either buy her for myself or give her to my give her to my friend for his birthday cuz uh, Beth Phoenix was his favorite WWE diva. So I decided to give it to him even though it like hurt, but I did get her eventually somehow. So I don't know if he gave her to me eventually or whatever, but yeah, Toys R Us was one of the places that you would find luck. Now this figurine, oh my gosh. This is the one, the only Tori Wilson. She is a Hall of Famer now as well. I love the pink on this. It's like bubblegum pink, it pops, and her shoes are silver, and they're like heeled boots, okay? So she's one of my favorite WWE Diva figures ever. I just love the way that she looks, and the face sculpt's actually really good on this one because when you go like further down the line in Tori Wilson figures, um, her face isn't as as you know similar to the real thing so love this figurine now this is i came to find out later it's reused from another lita figure lita who we um looked at earlier but also i want those lita figures so they might be coming one day um now this one i remember my dad having to order her from a magazine and i think she came in a two-pack with billy gunn i could be wrong but I think they were involved in a tag team. So it's so it's such a cute outfit. I love it so much. I'm so glad she was in the lot because, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I just love her so much. And I'm glad to have her in the collection again. But yeah, you had to like order them from magazines and stuff. You know, it was not easy to find uh, women's wrestling figures. Okay, we have two more little packages here. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Thank you again to the seller. Like, I am elated, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, let's start with this pack. Two figures that I did have in the past as well. I had a lot. Um, I had a lot of figures, and I love to do, like, battle royals with them. 
Um, so basically, if you're not a wrestling fan, a battle royal is like a lot of the girls would start in the ring and then you'd have to get thrown out of the ring and whoever was left was the winner. Um, here, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They included the robe, which I didn't know was coming. So again, amazing like customer service. Would definitely recommend this seller. I'm not quite sure of the name or if they want me to share it, but they're amazing. Um, this is Candace Michelle, okay? So she is a really, really cool figurine. Love, again, her hair sculpt and she comes with this robe and this really, really cute pink um, outfit underneath. I love this color pink. And she comes with boots with some accents on them. Because she would enter and she would like dance. And then she'd like rip her robe off. It was so cool. So I'm really excited that it came with the robe. And it's like nice and pink and sparkly. So that is amazing. Let's see. Okay, she's gonna like kind of stand there next up we have victoria who definitely deserves a spot in the hall of fame she was such a pinnacle in like women's wrestling especially when like trish and lita were around victoria was a huge name as well um this is not the only victoria figure i had but she is really really cool i did have her she has some camo um and a nice cool top there and i like her hair sculpt i think what i like about the hair sculpts is they're all so unique and they definitely fit like the different um, women's wrestlers. So she has like little boots here with some accents and I just think she's so cool. She has gloves as well. I'm so excited like this lot had a lot of really big <clears throat> names and characters for the time especially. So everyone you see here definitely is like well known in women's wrestling. Now we have one last pack here. One I owned before and one I did not, at least in this outfit. So, if you didn't know, which you don't, because I never talked about this on YouTube, I was a huge Trish Stratus fan. Trish Stratus was my um, favorite wrestler. My first favorite wrestler was Trish Stratus. And when I was watching her, she was a heel, a uh, face, which a face means like they're the good guy. It says 100% babe, which is so cute. And she also comes with her pants and also these little boots here. And I did have this one. She came in a two pack, I believe, with Christian. And this is when she was a heel. And uh, a heel means you're the bad guy. So I remember when she turned heel at WrestleMania. I kid you not, I was so upset. I was so upset. So, yeah. <laughs> There's actually a Trish figure that I really love. It's one I actually got in Canada at Niagara Falls. So I'm probably going to get that one again. And of course, I will show you. But look at all these figurines, you know. I'm still blown away by how much I could get for that price. But loved Trish Stratus. She was my first love in wrestling. I looked up to her. I think she's so amazing. And she's still got it. She still looks amazing today. She's, she was recently in a wrestling match not too long ago with Charlotte Flair. We actually have up on the shelf over there so love her really really cool i mean you have trish lita victoria melina beth phoenix molly holly like a lot of names that people like oh my gosh so really awesome now the last figurine is one that i am so excited to own because i never have before and it is stacy keebler now you might have heard of her before because she did um after wrestling, you know, she was known in the mainstream world. She dated George Clooney for a while. Um, she was in, she acted in certain shows and stuff like that. So she's awesome. She used to be a Baltimore Ravens cheerleader before wrestling. And this, I'm not quite sure where this figurine comes from, but I did not have this version of Stacy. I had a version of her with a pink and white shirt on. Same pose, and she's even less um, articulated than most of them. So she really only moves like at the hip. But her hands look like she's like holding her waist, which I think is so cool. And her face is absolutely gorgeous. And she has a little um, necklace there. And this Stacy's hair is actually more of a light blonde. So I really like it. And that is the end of our little um, diva haul here. I could not be more excited. I hope that you all enjoyed and you kind of got more of a look into you know what i used to play with as a kid and um it's kind of like a start to my love for wrestling on the channel because i know we don't really talk about it that much but don't worry 
when I get a wrestling game and a PS5, we're going to be doing some wrestling content on the channel. You can bet on that. So, with that being said, please like, comment down below if you ever played with some WWE Diva figures. Um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time, collectors. Bye!